My name is Stuart McDougall and I'm part of the Catalyst Theatre Youth Advisory Board. Hello, I'm Betty Moulton and I'm the voice, speech and text coach who works on the Catalyst Productions. My first question for you is how many Catalyst shows have you worked on before? Uh, before this one, two, um, but it's a, quite a unique experience being able to work on Catalyst shows because there's a total, when I worked on Nevermore, um, there was a total of six rehearsal, separate rehearsal periods oh, over wow. a period of three years, and then another two rehearsal periods with a, a, a few substitutions in the cast. So a total of eight rehearsal periods I worked okay. on with Nevermore. And there's a show about Edgar Allan Poe. And then the second one I worked with uh, Catalyst on was Hunchback. And there were three separate rehearsal periods. But that the final one was with, again, a couple of new cast members. So over the past four years, I've worked on nine separate rehearsal periods. Oh, wow. And so, as far as the Soul Collector goes, what would you say excites you most about the text? Uh, the text is ever evolving because we're in rehearsals right now. We're halfway through rehearsals, so the text isn't totally set yet. But I just love the way Jonathan has written a seamless movement between speaking and singing. He combines a very simple rhythmical text. It's iambic tetrameter, so there's a very regular rhythm in a lot of what it, what is written. But but it's it's very complex in the thinking and in the storytelling. It's deceiving, really, when the actors get hold of it. They think, well, this is fairly simple, and I move through the text this way in these simple short lines. But how the ideas are tied together are very complex and keep the energy of the ideas and the story really bubbling along with a lot of passion underneath. So that's a really enjoyable thing to dive down into the text and figure out how to do that. And then the passion increases, and then all of a sudden singing is happening. So that the movement between speaking and singing is such an elevated human thing, it's very exciting. So for the Soul Collector, uh, what themes would you say resonate to you the most personally? I think uh, the theme of memory and how memory affects us. If there's difficult times you've had in your life, uh, as there are difficult times with a number of people in this script, um, it's how you treat memory, whether you bury it deeply so that you're not affected by it and your heart becomes cold, mm -hmm. and how you resurrect that and deal with uh, difficult times as well as the wonderful times you've had in your life, and to somehow make peace with them in your life and to use the resources of friends, advisors to help you do that. That's a big theme to me that, that resonates with me in my life. 